many times in our lives we come across examples where you can use addition, subtraction or multiplication or division for undertaking the answers of various problems. In this particular lecture we are looking at two things. One is addition and the other one is subtraction. Okay? Now let's say you have an example of a person X and we are told that his income in let's say 2011 was 500,000 okay and you are told that the income in 2012 increased by 25,000 right now if someone were to ask you what was the income of X in 2012 how will you calculate it basically he was earning 500,000 in 2011 and his income increased by 25,000 in 2012 vis-a-vis -vis 2011 so if we do a sum total of his income for 2011 and to that we add the increase of 2012 right you will get his income in 2012 500,000 plus 25,000, 525,000. This is his income in 2012. Now this was a practical life question, okay? But we knew that we have to apply addition to get this, right? Similarly, let me take another example on addition, right? Question 2. Let us say the number of students and the class, right? So let's say you have 40 students in class 9 and you are told that the number of students in class 10th is 10 more than class 9. Now if someone were to ask you what is the number of students in class 10, how do you compute it? You know that the number of students in class 10 is equal to number of students in class 9 plus 10. Why? Because there are 10 more than number of students in class 9. We know that the number of students in class 9th is 40 and this is 10 more. So we add 10 here to get 50. Right? So we have applied the operation of addition on a given problem to get the answer. Now let's say you have a similar case here and so let's say you have the year 2011 2012 the income is 500,000 and here you are told that it decreased by 25,000 right so what is the income in year 2012 2012 income is equal to income of 2011 plus income of 2012 or rather the increase in 2012 just like we had an increase which was positive 
we know a decrease is what? It's negative. So we subtract. And how much is the decrease? Decrease is 25,000. So I get 4,75,000 as the answer. Right? Now let's say in this example, I tell you that the number of students in class 11 is 10 less than class 9. Right? So how many number of students are there? Again, what we are told is it is less than. It has decreased. And when it decreases, you have to apply the minus sign, which is nothing but the subtraction. So if 40 is the number of, so let's say we are computing it for class 11. Class 11 is equal to class 9 less 10. How much do we have in class 9? We know class 9 is 40 minus 10, 30. So the number of students in class 11 is equal to 30. Right? Right? 